Hello, uh, today is Tuesday the 7th of September 2021. Noonday snack is what you're looking at. Uh, if this is the one you want, stick around, uh, stay with us. Um, if you're on catch up, that is. Drop us a comment in there, let us know you've been in. It's always good to know we've uh, been sharing time together. If it's not the one you want, they're all on our Facebook group. Go into photos from your mobile or your tablet and you'll find them in there, the most recent order. On a laptop or desktop, slightly differently, you go into media and then you can go into videos and you'll find everything there. Uh, that's the easiest way to find it. Right, listen, this is our noonday snack. So uh, I'm going to leave you there. I'm going to pop across and start to say hello to people as they come on board. But remember, if you're on catch up, drop us a comment in. We'd love to know we've been uh, been there for you at different times of the day. Um Good afternoon to Bex, who's first in our OD and all. Good afternoon to you, babe. B, hope everything's all right with you. Uh, doing well. Thank you for covering for me yesterday. Um, and Bex will be back with you tomorrow as well. And one of those weeks where I'm doob doob doob. I'm popping in and out. Right, um, Bex, let's see, where are we? Um, good morning. Yes, good morning. It's, it's one of those, isn't it? Is it morning? Is it afternoon? Day, big day for me today. Big day. I'll get me a new tooth today. I feel you. Know, I, I don't smile a great deal. I try not to smile. And if I do, I try to smile on this side for the last couple of years because I, I lost a tooth here um, a while back. And it's been it was right just before um, co just before COVID and, and everything started for lockdowns that I started having the treatment for it. And I'm having an implant. Um, and it's been that long because they couldn't do certain things. They couldn't do parts of it for uh, for uh, because of aerosol generating and all that sort of stuff so uh, today is the day i get my actual tooth it was supposed to be last tuesday but it had to be cancelled because it wasn't back in time so i'll be able to smile properly tomorrow i'm very conscious of the fact i've got this little gap it's a it's um i had a crown there um from uh, something that happened a lot earlier on in my my life when i, I, I damaged a tooth and lost a, a tooth from a, an accident so um that that broke and I couldn't get couldn't get out of the crown, so I had to right go down the go down that. Anyway, enough of my blooming hassles. But tomorrow I'll be able to smile properly. But I won't see you tomorrow, so I'll smile for you on Thursday. Right now, I'll stop gabbling. Let's go on. Ken Green, good afternoon to you. Good, good to have you with us. Um, Kels tomorrow for noons. Um, Ian Wright, good afternoon. Vivian Dixon, good afternoon. It's a lovely day. Two washer loads done and all so, all out on the line. Uh, Kathy Speed, good afternoon to you. Uh, Margaret, good afternoon to you uh, from a warm and sunny Chester. It's a beautiful day here today. It was beautiful yesterday. It's hotter today than it was yesterday. I've been out in the garden this morning and I've just been chilling a little bit, catching on some paperwork inside as well, where it's a little bit cooler. We're heading towards our noonday snack. So let's have a look where we are. We're in our last minute. Um, so as you come on board, say hello. Welcome along. You've got a tea towel. You've got a, a cushion with you, hopefully. George is in. Uh, sunny and warm in Cruden Bay. Summer at last. It's nice to have a little bit of warmth, isn't it? Hope you're all keeping well. Hope everybody's good. Uh, Christine Rowland is in. I've been having big problems, but finally have the internet back. Phew. Hello all. I've missed you and, your, and our snacks. It's been, I don't know what's been going on with the internet lately. It's been playing about quite a few places i know mine was sort of freezing a little bit last week when i sort of go had a bit of a jitter on it sometimes when i looked at it i look like um at the beginning of um tales of the unexpected anyway we are at 12 o'clock so listen if you want to lose the comments off the bottom of the screen why panda you're gone right should we have our three two one good morning everybody dave montgomery from lay life training today is tuesday it's the 7th of September 2021 and this is our noonday snack. Now, first decision, are we doing it standing? Are we doing it seated? Am I going to go up for my knees without going, ah, we'll have a go. There we go. Here we are, look, in our standing position, I've got fixed external support available to me. That's most important. Um, shoes on, sensible, comfortable shoes. There's nothing that's going to cause me any hazards around me. Um, so nothing that I can step on that's going to cause me a, 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 a trip or anything like that. Nothing that's loose. We've got the support available. We've got our chair, which is a sturdy chair, should we need a chair, okay? Uh, remember, if you're watching this for the first time, so if you're new to us on Catch Up, then whatever your range of motion is, is correct. And if you want to have a look at the movement first, decide which best way to do it for you, whether it be standing, using support, or in seated, then that's the way to do it. The great thing about Catch Up is you can press that pause button, and then you can press play again. Do you see what I did there? 
Right, let's get our posture sorted, shall we? In our standing position, we've got our heels in line with our knees, our knees in line with our hips. We're lifting and lengthening out from our hips to grow that bit taller, bringing the shoulders up, back and pressing down. So we're opening this rib cage. Support is here, as I say, and in our seated position, what we're going to do is bring ourselves off the back of the chair firstly. From, so from here, where we're leaning against the back of the chair, sit tall, take that little hip walk into the front third of the chair, bring ourselves into the front third of the chair. We're sitting tall here, we've got the shoulders up, back, and pressed down. And we start now with our circulation boosting. Lifting the heel off the floor, coming up onto the ball of the foot. Exactly the same in standing. This is about getting rhythmical flowing movements happening. So starting to get the circulation boosting. We're starting to ask the heart to beat a little bit faster. We're gonna to start to ask us uh, to breathe a little bit heavier and that's gonna boost our circulation. So we take movements bigger rather than faster. So here we'll take it into a march, lifting that foot off the floor. Regulars, you know all about this. Remember in seated, those options, if you're getting fatigue into here, you can come back into that heel raise. You can take it for a diagonal tap of the toe, or you may even want to take a little bit of a heel tap in front, just to give yourself a bit of a different movement. In standing, then you can see that we start to get the ability to point the toes down towards the floor a little bit as well. So we start to get some, some movement happening there. Adding an arm in as well, we drive that elbow backwards making sure that we're not allowing the arm just to swing wildly from the shoulder. It's a driven, controlled movement. Now in seated and in standing, if we're not using support, we can just change hands to the other side. However, if we are using support and it's in front of us, firstly, we've got enough room for our knees, place the hand down, bring the other hand off and away we go. If our support is to the side, however, we need to come to a complete stop. At that point, we will take as many steps as we need to turn into the other side and then away we can go on the other side. Finally, seated and standing, if we feel steady, stable and coordinated, then both arms, both legs, bigger movements in total. So arches are opening, blood's pumping around the body a bit faster because we're asking the heart to beat a little bit faster. That's carrying the oxygen. We're warming the muscles, we're giving the energy to the muscles, we're warming the joints and we're loosening those joints, ready for our activity. Now, a couple of minutes, three max, we bring this to a slightly smaller movement and then we'll bring it to a pause. And at this point, you should feel as though you wanna take a couple of deep breaths. It's important to remember that we shouldn't feel out of breath at this point. So it shouldn't be a, we should just feel as though a couple of deep breaths is, is what we're looking for. Okay, let's move into our movements today then. So our first movement is going to be with our tea towel, which I hope you all brought with you. If you saw your, your, um, your prompt earlier on, I've got my trusty later life tea towel here, look, which still hasn't been used as a tea towel. I won't let it. It gets folded up neatly afterwards and, and put in my office where it's, uh, it's safe and it's protected and it's nice and flat. How sad is that, eh? One of these days it will get used as a proper tea towel, I promise. Right, we're all gonna do this in a seated position. Reason being, it's going to offer us the best way to, to, to get that motion within there. You could do it in standing if you wanted to, but let's all do it in a seated because it's good to practice coming from a standing to a seated position as well, correctly. So back up to your chair, feel the chair against the back of you, and then with control, lower yourself into that chair. And the key thing there is with control. I say this to my son continuously as he sits down on the sofa, because he's a bit of a flopper. So he'll flop into the chair and I say, no, control, control. One of these days he'll listen to me. From there, we'll take a little hip walk into the front third of the chair. So we're sitting in the front third of the chair and this is what we call our working position. Now, we're going to work into our shoulders. So with your tea towel, you're gonna place it on your lap, okay? And your hand on it. The other hand is gonna be here. Now, I want you to try and bring it so your elbow and your arm is level with your shoulder. The arm is lengthened, but the elbow is slightly soft. If you struggle with range of motion there, then you bring it to where it's comfortable for you. Now, you can either move your hand down the tea towel or you can scoop it up further on your um, thigh and on your lap to create it there. If we have difficulties grasping, then this is where you can scrunch the end of your tea towel up, 
to make a ball, which then means I haven't got to hold it as tight. If I can show you, look, I haven't got to grip as tightly to hold that as if I'm just holding it here. Yeah. So there's plenty of options there for you. Now, what we're going to do is once we've got that, we've got it at arm's length there, we've got a bit of tension. We're going to keep that arm long and we're going to take it that little bit further. So our other hand is resting on our lap on the other end of the tea towel. We're just lifting away and you'll feel this into the top part of your arm and into your shoulder. So you've got your tension there, you lift a little bit further. You're not going to see a great deal of movement. You'll feel it a bit in the tea towel as that tea towel gets that little bit tighter, but you also feel it in your arm, but be careful. Don't let the elbow come up. Try and keep it still and don't let the elbow bend. So we're not bringing it in towards us. We're there, we're holding it tight. We're holding this position if we can and we're lifting. And again, remember, if you have a range of motion, it's less for you. So this is the position you feel comfortable in, then that is where you would go to. Exactly the same, arm is length and elbow is slightly soft and we're lifting away from us. So just lifting there. Now, anything where we're lifting something heavy up, it used maybe with both hands that we would do it. But it's anything where we're lifting anything heavy up in front of us. And it might be that we've got something in front of us that we need to lift firstly before we can bring it in towards us. It might be on a shelf. Those sorts of activities is what we're looking at here. But it's that tension there already, and then lift that a little bit further, try to pull it away and feel that extra tension in there. Do a few on one side and then change to the other. You might want to um, keep changing. So do a few on one side, change to the other, then change back and change back. So you build it up. But it's exactly the same motion on the other side. We've got that hand on our lap, look, supporting us. We're sitting tall. We've got the tall lifted position. We're just taking that little bit further. So we feel it into that problem. We can feel that resistance within there. But you'll notice none of the rest of my body is moving. So I'm not lifting the shoulder. I'm staying still, staying level. And I'm lifting from there to release down. Lifting and releasing down. Few on one side, few on the other. Now, if you wanted to add additional into that, um, what you can do is a little bit of a um, hold at the top and do a little bit of a squeeze there. So as you hold it, let me show you. As you hold it here, we've got it on our lap. We've got the end of the tea towel up here. We've got that position there. We can do a little bit of a lift and a release. So not a full release, just a lift, a lift again, a little bit of a lift. So you get a little bit of a small movement in there. But ideally, just work on that holding it there. Hold it for no more than about five seconds and then release. And if you do hold it, count it out to yourself. Reason being, if we're counting out, it doesn't have to be loud, so you know, one, two, it can be one, two. But if we're counting it out, we're not holding our breath. And we don't want to hold our breath because that can cause us to increase our blood pressure. That's movement number one. Now movement number two is about shoulders again, but also about mobility within those shoulders. So what we're going to try is a, a 90 degree turn, okay? So have a look, ideally I'm here. Elbow level with my shoulder, arm raised up. Elbow is gonna stay where it is, and I'm gonna bring it down. Now, if you have a table, for instance, um, if I could get the height right here, let's see if I do the seating. If I get the height right here, I could do it there, look. So I'm there and I'm down and back in. So I start and I return to my, uh, my position here, bring it down and bring it back up. But you'll see that nothing is happening here. If I keep my arm there, look, the elbow isn't lowering, it's not raising, it's just rotating down and coming back up for you, okay? A few on one side, a few on the other. And again, remember, that you might have a different amount of mobility. It might be that you're down here as far as your, your arm is concerned, in which case you've still got that movement there, yeah? It's about getting that rotational movement within our shoulders. And once you've done a few on one side, do a few on the other. Now to progress this, hold a tin or a weight in your hand while you do that as well. So this same movement, base of support if we're in standing outside of our shoulders, we could use our support in front of us if we need to, there's that movement down and back up. And it's exactly the same in our seated. So in our seated position, exactly the same movement. 
Level with shoulder if we can, and we're coming down in front and back up. So it's this 90 degree rotational movement, down in front, back up. Now, any limitation on shoulders movement, this is really going to help with, but it's about building strength back into those muscles as well. And again, the thing with our shoulders is anything where we're reaching away, anything where we're lifting, anything where we're pulling up, those sorts of things, that is where we're moving and using those shoulders. So that's why this movement is good for that. Now, our final movement is um, going to work on challenging our balance a little. So this is where we want the cushion. Now, seated option here, we're going to make it a strength movement because there isn't really a, uh, a mirror image of our, that we can do of this that challenges our balance. So if we're in a seated position, what we're going to do is a butt squeeze to lift and then release. So that squeeze of your butt to release, uh, to, to raise and then release back down, but again with control. Now, if we want to add a little bit of a, a challenge into this, what we can do is bring ourselves onto one foot on one side on the toe and do that butt squeeze, but try and keep it so you're squeezing equally on both uh, buttocks. So we put a little bit of extra in there. And you can also put a little bit of an arm out to the side to give you a feeling of perhaps off-centering your balance, but focusing to get in that squeeze into the butt. In standing, what we're going to do, now only if you feel steady with this, right? Our movement is a one leg stand. So we've got ourselves uh, stood tall, support by the side of us, even if we don't feel we need it, okay? Just so that we've got it. One leg off and just holding ourselves there for up to five seconds and then releasing back down. Change your direction to the other side by turning into your support. And then we can take it to the other side with that challenge there, just bringing our foot off the floor and releasing back down. The cushion comes in to give us a little bit of instability. Now, you have to promise not to tell my wife that I did this because I'm going to keep my trainers on. They are clean, I promise. But I'm going to put the cushion close to my support. Yeah. Stand on it with both feet. We've now got a bit of an uneven surface under us. And then stand on one leg for up to five seconds and bring it back down. You might want to do a few on one side and then on the other. Key prompts here. Keep that eye line level. Keep looking at your support. And keep looking at a, a focus point in front of you. Have support next to you, even if you feel you don't need it. Supporting leg is going to stay soft. So you're going to keep that knee soft. And you're going to lift off and look ahead and place back down. Once you've done that a few times on the one side, you might want to step off your, your cushion, take a, a turn into your support, um, change cushion to the other side, or if you feel comfortable with it, change your position on the other side of the, the cushion. Again, we bring ourselves up. And now here, you might find that you have more stability on one side than the other. So again, eye line level, knee soft, bringing ourselves up, holding it there for up to five seconds, and then releasing. Key things to remember here, support is there. So even if you try to do it without support, support is there so you can hold it, or we step out if we feel our balance is challenged too much. So from here, if we're, if we're holding it here, we've got the support by the side of us just to touch our finger, it might be enough, or we take that step out. And if we step out, it's toe down, heel down to get our balance back, and then you can bring that other foot off the cushion again. So those are your moves for today. Um, something to challenge your balance a little bit more as well. And that one, as I say, with the cushion is about an uneven surface. So it's, it's changing the surface that we're standing on to challenge our balance a little bit further. That's me done for today. I will see you bright and breezy uh, soon. Uh, I know I'm doing another day. I think it's Thursday I'm doing um, an 8 a.m. as well, but I'll check in my diary and see what I'm doing. So I'm doing 1 8 a.m. Uh, this week, I think. I think. I'll check my diary. Anyway, I will definitely see you on uh, Thursday lunchtime at noon. Have a great afternoon, everybody. Keep mobility, keep activity on your radar. Kels will be with you at 12 noon tomorrow and take opportunity to crowbar in extra activities as you go through the day as well. I'll see you with me, new tooth, on Thursday. Take care. Bye.